Hi guys and welcome to episode 8 of my Notts County Football Manager series. Uh, things haven't got any better really, I thought they were improving. Obviously we played crew in the last video when we drew nil nil. Then the next game after that was the 1-1 draw with Peterborough, which we should have won. We did play extremely well in this game. I thought the tactic was working really well. We outshot them by a mile. We even had more possession. Um, but then the next game, it all came crashing back down to earth. With a 4-1 defeat against Oldham, we never looked like winning it, ever. Perhaps the number of fouls we made had something to do with that. But we just, we played terribly, absolutely terribly. And I've made the decision to terminate the loans of Ruben Lamirez, Jordan Jones, Zeli Ishmael. I think that's all of them. Ruben Jones, Ruben Lamirez, and Zeli Ishmael. Yeah, terminated their loans because I was paying them and our finances are... Not too good. Um, £2,000 per week over the wage budget. And the majority of that is down to Rafael Calvet because he's on 1500 per week and we're paying all of his wages. Um, and then I got my final loan signing that was allowed. I figured I might as well use all eight. And I got Sam Byrne from Everton. He looks like he could be a good player. He hasn't played yet. I've just got him. So hopefully he can he can do do some business for us. Also, I released Gary Jones because Gary Jones didn't want to play for us anymore. Even though when I offered him a mutual termination because he'd said that he wanted to leave, he then said, I want to fight for my place. So he's a bit confused, really, Gary Jones. So I just, I just let him go. You know, he, he didn't know what he wanted. He didn't want to be here. So bye-bye. Um, so... Next up is Chesterfield. We beat them in the, the home game. There is lots of speculation around my future in the Notts County job. I've had a meeting with the board to discuss my confidence. That was after the Peterborough game, which I thought we played really well at, so I was really confused as to why they would choose to bring me in for a meeting after that. Uh, I just told them in the meeting that we were unlucky and we should have would have probably won on another day, and they agreed. So I don't know what that was about. Um so I'm sticking with this formation for one more match. This is the last match I'm doing this formation for, unless we win. If we win, then I'll stick with it. If, or even if we draw, I'll probably stick with it. But if we lose, then I'm going to have to change formation all over again. Or I'll get sacked. So let's get into it. Squad number left will be given to Sam Byrne, obviously because he's a new sign-in. I'll give him the number 12, random number. I can't believe how much this this has changed so dramatically we started off the season so well and now we've just dropped off horrifically right so apply advice and be passionate get out there and impress me we haven't actually won a game since the end of November in the league we last game we won was Yeovil in the cup I'm quite concerned for my job and for this series. Because obviously if I get sacked, then that's the, that'll be the end of the series. I've got a few a few more ideas for series to do, but I, I was really wanting to to make a bit more pro progress in this with the Notts County one. Um, by the way, if you guys ever have any any ideas of series that I could do, saves that I could do, saves you'd be interested in, even if they're just like one offs. Um, just just let me know in the comments below and I'll endeavour to to do them. This game is not a very exciting one, it appears. Well we've had five shots and none of them on target. There's not really been goals galore for me. Probably the calibre of players I've got and the fact that I haven't got I've got some players that aren't very good at the positions that need to be played in this tactic, but that's what happens when you do it when you decide to do this tactic halfway through a season, when you're with a team that's not barely got any wages to spend, but well, actually got no wages to spend and and we've got a few loans to make. 
So it's Chesterfield playing in the red on the attack. Good save by Carroll and then the open goal scored by Chesterfield. This could be the end, guys. This could be the last hurrah for me as Notts County manager. And it could be our local rivals that send me packing. What a story that would be. Not being good enough. Show me something else. Taking Adams off because he is injured. And we'll bring Cranston on. Mm, Hayhurst did well last time I brought him on. So bring him on for Quasi. Quasi hasn't really done anything since he came back from his injury. It's a bit concerning. Uh, Wait, Hayhurst played quite well last time I played him in this position. So we'll, we'll give him a go there. Hopefully it changes things up a little bit. We've not made any more progress on the number of shots that we've had. It appears that Chesterfield have taken control of the game in the in the remainder of the first half. So hopefully we can get back on top with a free kick from Noble. Saved. Janai. Burn. Oh. Almost. Almost a debut goal for Sam Burn. It's a great chance. And Whitehouse gives away the free kick. That was better play though. It was our first shot on target for the game. I am really concerned for my job at this moment in time. Especially with Chesterfield on the attack. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible shot. It's like something one of my players would do. Show some passion. No. Don't buy a good interception. On Thompson. Long ball. Looking for Sam Byrne. Oh, he lost it. Thompson's got it. Don't buy To Byrne. He wasn't there. Edwards intercepts it. Just, and he's going to get, no, he's not going to get tackled. Cranston. Left cross it in. There was no one there. And now Chesterfield are on the counter-attack and Calvet's going to get sent off. Things really aren't getting any better. Raphael Calvet, red card. And it's just all rather sad. To be honest with you. Ugh. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Can't get much worse. Got to mention I did have some players come up to me with concerns as well, but I saw it that I cheered them up. So full time one nil to Chesterfield. Far from pleased with the result. Sixteenth now. This is terrible. Better than Notts County actually finished. Last season, 21st. I did look that up, just in case the board would take that into account. I doubt they would. In fact, I know they wouldn't. So next game is against Leighton Orient, if I make it. Oh, we've got a board request meeting to discuss manager's future. I'll do that one before I do the press conference. Performance hasn't been good enough and my possession is under threat. Let's attend the meeting. I'm not happy with the current performance and considering your position at the club, but we'd like to know why you think the team performed so badly. Well, I have been really unlucky with the amount of injuries. There's been lots of injuries. We haven't had a difficult run of games. 
I'll go with the injuries one. Well, there has been loads of injuries though. Okay. Um, should I beg? If I say, tell me what I need to do to save my job, they normally give me a points target to reach. I'll say that. Eight points in the next five games. So that's a target, guys. Eight points in the next five games. Brilliant. So we'll be back. What was it? The late Norian game? Have we made that up? Nope. For the late Norian game. And we're back for the late Norian game. And as I said, I have changed the tactics because we got beat with the forest flourish goals galore tactic and i've changed it to this one that i used quite a while back i see it as kind of like a a boss was it barcelona that played with no strikers whatever team played with no strikers i can't remember now was it no it was spain i'm sure spain played with no strikers at some point so we'll see if Notts county can do this <laughs> It's like, the, the media are actually calling this game El Sakiko because both me and the late Norit manager appear to be one more loss away from getting the chop. But the funny thing is, I haven't won a game in 12 games and I'm in like 16th place or something, whereas the late Norit manager is in 8th place. It just goes to show the, the difference between the expectations of the two boards, I guess. And they ignore another favourite. Give the fans something to cheer for. They haven't had anything for a while. Got five games to get eight points to keep the keep our job to keep the dream alive no matter how slim it is I'm just remembering the fact that Sir Alex Ferguson was so close to being sacked in his first few seasons as Manchester United manager and then they gave him time and look what happened but that's not good. Sean Wright Phillips puts Late Norian in the lead after just over 10 minutes. Good, that's an injury for them. Oh, oh is he going to do a mistake? Oh, he's going to kick it out. No, he's going to kick it to Sean Wright Phillips. He was going to do something bad. Oh my. Carol was just a passenger. Jeez. It's terrible goalkeeping. We haven't even had a shot yet. Got possession. No shot. We obviously can't play possession football. So. I don't know why it's just taken me till now to realise that. But. I'm just going to have to do ugly football, even though that doesn't work because we've tried that already. I just don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Well, I'm definitely not bringing Balin Biner on because he's a waste of space. Billy Daniels is doing quite well in the Shadow Striker role. It look, from the ratings, it looks like we're quite unlucky because no one's got a rating of less than 6.5, which is what I judge it on as to whether to sub them or not. I should leave them on for now. And hope that they pull the fingers out. The second half, and Nicky Rowe is injured. 
means a substitution for us. And it means that red card man himself comes on to go alongside yellow card man. That should just be their nicknames. Will Hayhurst is pretty tired. We haven't got an attacking left midfielder to come on though. So we're just going to have to lump it. And then our best player is pretty tired. I'm not taking him off though. Okay, confirm sub. Before I do something stupid. Right, we've got a corner. Noble whips it in. Oh, and they're going to counter-attack. <laughs> so this game just likes to give me false hope. Oh, give him a corner. You'll think he's going to have a chance at goal. And then give the ball to the opposition and let them have a shot at goal. And probably score. I'll give a penalty away. It's as good as a goal, isn't it? Oh, there he is. T Thompson. Thompson's your man. If you ever want someone to get booked or red carded, it's my centre midfielders. Thompson and Noble. And Carol, I'm not going to blame you for that one. Your first, the first goal was your fault. I think. I know that was the one that was nearly a goal, that was your fault. Right, so it looks like this game's dead, so it means we've got eight games, eight games, four games to get eight points, unless a miracle occurs in this game, which I highly doubt. Just bring people on for the hell of it. So this tactic didn't really work out well. I'm going to go for a 4-4-2, old-fashioned 4-4-2 next game. waiting for the whistle and there it is full time 2-0 another defeat so long since we won a game so long I'm pleased with the result and we're dropping closer and closer to that relegation fight 17th now not good that's it for this video since we have four games to save our career as not county manager i'm going to be back with the preston and fleetwood games I'll see how many I can fit into one video. Preston, Fleetwood, Port Vale and Colchester. They're the important games. See how we get on. We may have all four in one video. We may have two in one, two in the other. Um, we might, it could be any, any combination of them. But we will do it until we either get sacked or until we reach the points total of eight points. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it a bit more than I did losing all the time. If you've got any tips for me, leave them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate some, some tactic tips or anything, anything that will just help us out of this mess. Uh, if you've got any ideas for any other saves that you would like to see me do, leave that in the comments as well. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.